Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Hey guys, so Hi. we're back. <laughs> That's Irun. Uh, we're back in Amsterdam and of course the holiday never stops because we just got ourselves another night in the Crown Plaza and this is where we usually go when we just want to get away from our house and just kind of have, you know, like a getaway within a getaway, getaway within our own city. This is such a different room from the usually the junior suites that we get, but I will just show you guys around because it's still such a beautifully designed room. Here we have, just checked in. We have our little espresso, espresso of course. Of course, the mini fridge that is all free for us, but we're going to the lounge later, which I'll show you guys later. So it's nice and everything there is free anyways. Here, this is really nice. Dear Mr. Lee, welcome to Crown Plaza Amsterdam South. Complimentary welcome chocolates. Very nice. So, this really cute living room area, as you can see. On the TV screen, it's really nice and personalized, which I love about Crown Plaza. Now, here I'll take you to our little bedroom. It's so cozy here. Again, the same TV or a different TV with the same message. And this nice area with our desk and really, I love what the Crown Plaza here does great. It's like the windows and just the natural lighting that comes into this place. Of course, my favorite, the bed. They just called to check in to see how we were doing. And of course, check in check-in was really great so here we even have our own little balcony as you can see outside and it's actually really cold in Amsterdam today it's like five degrees it's like the coldest winter here okay and now for the bed test it is cozy as ever start making the bed angel and of course, the washroom. Quite, you know, standard. Beautiful showers and what we love, a bathtub. Always the bathtub. And what I really like about Crown Plaza Amsterdam is that they use Rituals, which is this, I think it's Dutch. It's a Dutch brand, but it's this Dutch brand that me and Jeroen really enjoy. So yeah, I'm gonna take a lot of baths. It's in there. Yeah, fan already with the snacks. Did you admit that I can take anything from here and a whole bottle of wine if I want to? Much more of an orange glass person though. This one is the best right here. It's like my own little grandma cookie jar closet where I can just take it and so nice. How is it? Uh, food is really nice. Besides that, I don't feel much. Mm. Okay, it's even yet. <gasps> There's no salmon! I'm sure. So we're just grabbing breakfast now. Uh, There's no salmon. Look, they ran out of salmon, so your room requested more salmon, just for me, for him. Thank you. Turns out Amsterdam has a bit of a Christmas market of their own going on right now. And of course, Christmas market with Christmas chocolate with all the cheese. Classic.
This is the glass facade of Chanel. Made of glass bricks. Cool architecture. Jacuzzi for Louis Vuitton. Jacuzzi dog. In this bomb ass art gallery. Accidentally touched it. So we're in the Magna Plaza, and the Magna Plaza is this cool historic building with different stores all around in it. And it's actually a really nice place to check out and to do a little shopping in Amsterdam. So this Christmas tree is actually hanged by that rope all the way up there. And it actually looks like it's floating from downstairs. See people walking down underneath. Here's a much better view. Oh, uh, this is underneath the Christmas tree. Look at my cone head. Okay, so this is Evelyn here. We went to university at Western together back in back in the good old Ooh, way old, like old really days, long time old ago. Days. And Evelyn actually moved to the Netherlands before I did, and we're here in Amsterdam reunited at last. And, and what we're gonna do today is gonna we're just gonna explore a little bit. But first off, we're gonna go to the Moco. Moco is a modern art museum, but they have. Banksy and Roy Lichtenstein on and for this I guess duration of the exhibit. <laughs> because like they're so perfect. You can't paint everything individually. But he's Roy Lichtenstein. Yeah, but <laughs> I'll carry you out. <laughs> the coolest room is. Oh my god, this is like, if someone just like created my dream in real life, this would be it. Like a 3D version of my dream. Oh, look at this. I feel like I'm in The Simpsons, but, but Roy Lichtenstein episode. <laughs> Do you want some milk? I'm sure. Hey MTV, welcome to my crib! So this is my Roy Lichtenstein design chair, my Roy Lichtenstein design bed. Let's do the bed test to see how comfy. It's actually quite comfy. And these are my Roy Lichtenstein pillows and my Van Gogh imitative. I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be Van Gogh. at the Banksy and Roy Lichtenstein Museum. I'm gonna ride off into the sun. I did it! <laughs> Go on, enter the magical world. Of Narnia. <laughs> We're in this cool botanical gardens. Oh, you can smell how like fresh it is. It's actually feels like spring, spring I here. Or like you're in like some. Oh, my camera's getting foggy too. <laughs> Sorry guys. <laughs> Sorry guys. It's <laughs> warmest has been all winter.
So that was the cool indoors of the botanical gardens, the greenhouse. And now we're more, we're exploring the gardens. I mean, the outside of the gardens. Yeah. Are they all gardens? I guess Te so. Technically, right? Technically. Okay, so we're, yeah. So there's other greenhouses. <laughs> so we're gonna go explore those. Honestly, Amsterdam has all these little cool nooks and crannies that you just have to figure out and explore. But they're so simple and they're so, because the city isn't that big, you can get to all of them very accessibly, which I love about the city. Later that night, Evelyn and I were joined by our boyfriends, Adrian and Yurun, and the four of us went on a double date at the Amsterdam Light Festival. We're going to this boat right now. We're on this boat. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> and we're gonna go on a light, uh, and we almost, a light tour. And we almost missed it. And we almost missed it. It was close, but it's classic. We're going to get some pillows on this trip. <laughs> <laughs> so cozy. <laughs> Hold pot for you. Oh, <laughs> Don't tell anyone else <laughs> the boat about it. But we are still alive, or not alive. There's a lot of windows up, but like just bricks, so they had to pay less tax. Really? Yeah, so if you see a place where they the use the windows, inside. it's because of that. The Waldorf Astoria. Mm. Oh, 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 look at them. Oh. 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 Less than 10% you see what you can see, and the rest is underwater. And there is a question here behind this piece of art. And the vraag here is nu van de artist is what is no essence? What is no essence in the play? Is that what you can see? Inside, you see uh, this above the water level, blue, green line, what we call the life line. This line lives though. You see the line lives, it's moving, and he is responding to the sound that I make underwater. Oh, really? <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> And that was our little slice of Amsterdam for the holidays. Please give this video a thumbs up. Let us know what you think of the light festival, like which installation was your favorite, down in the comments below. And if you haven't yet, hit subscribe to join in on our adventures.